Hello and welcome to the channel. If you enjoy the content, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me and welcome the new subscribers. Now, the dealerships is going to be super excited for this new entry as well, too. I know they're super excited for the new Toyota GR as well as the GR, you know, uh, circuit edition. So let's go ahead and talk about this. The Toyota BZ4X has been announced well should i said it's been announced a long time ago but the price has been announced as well as trims and range and all that good stuff has been announced so let's go ahead and cover that right now okay so here we go we are at carscoops.com 2023 toyota bz4x starts at 42,000 and arrives at this dealership or dealerships dealerships this spring Reading for phonics, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I've talked about the BZ4X in my other videos before. If you haven't seen them, make sure to go give it a, a look if you enjoyed um, this video. Um, but this one, we're just going to be covering price and trim. And uh, we have different colors as well, too, as well as range. Range is a little bit meager, if I would say myself, 252 miles. But if you calculate at the price that they're asking, it's pretty damn good, man. I'm telling you, this is a really, really great price, especially after you get those incentives. The price of the car is like around, you know, 30,000 something. And I can't do the math out of my top of my head right now. So, so if you get the 40, if it's 42,000 with the $7,500 government incentives, you're looking at 34,000. 500 and that is just one of the incentives and then if you qualify for the other state incentives like maybe four thousand dollars as well as another like 150 or just a bunch of different incentives that you can qualify for if you live in the united states unless toyota has already made over 200,000 plug plug-in cars then you don't qualify for any of these and you just pay the price of the car which is still way cheaper than tesla's but the range is a little bit too meager but for the price can we really complain no no we can't here we go so toyota bz4x will arrive at us dealership this spring and the company has announced pricing will begin at forty-two thousand before factoring in the $1,215 destination charge as well as federal, state, and local incentives. If they haven't met that criteria yet, so you can still qualify. Kicking off its entry level, BC4X XLE, which features a two tone exterior with black fenders that have proven controversial. They're joined by bi LED projector beam headlights, LED taillights, 18 inch alloy rims. Other niceties include fixed panoramic glass roof, privacy glass, rain sensoring wipers, power folding mirrors with integrated turn signal, as well as pedal lights. Moving into the cabin, drivers will find a 7 inch, as you can see right here, our 7 inch cluster. I'm sorry, right here. And then you get a 12.3 inch Toyota audio multimedia system with available cloud based navigation as well as Android Auto, wireless CarPlay, all that good stuff for you. You get six speaker audio system, five USB ports, piano, black trim. Customers looking for more luxurious can add a cold weather package that includes a heated leather steering wheel and heated front seats. And some of the other vehicles, like some of the other EVs, you actually get both. I think. Um, the other EV that I was looking at is the um, a Polister or Polister. Um, you get heated seats front and rear, but you got to pay extra for that. Just like you got to pay extra for all the colors. Like the only color, the other color that you don't have to pay for is the black one. Which you, everything else, you, you got to pay. The equipment list doesn't end there as well as every BZ4X comes standard with Toyota Safety Sense suit of driver assistance systems. It includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering wheel assist, and lane, lane tracing assist, which keeps the EV centered in its lane. The model also has full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, automatic high beams, and road sign assist. They're joined by safety exit assist a blind spot monitor monitoring with rear cross traffic alert front and rear parking assist with automatic braking 
So yeah, that's pretty good. Like all that stuff comes standard. Um, most companies, they will try to sell you on those niceties. You have to pay a little bit more for those additions. But it's nice that Toyota is going to give you all that stuff standard on all the trims, regardless of which one you pick. But the limited one gives you a little bit more heated seats as well as leather trimmed heated, you know, steering wheel seats. Um, but it's up to you to decide what you want. Uh, limited and, uh, and, it, and it also has uh, 20 inch rims as well for the limited, which is 2000 and some change. More upscale exterior with chrome trim. Ugh, not a fan of chrome trims. Multi light LED, projective beam headlights, larger 20 inch rims. So, with 20 inch rims, you're going to get a little bit less um, range and a little bit more. Um, I don't know. With other cars, you can get a little bit of a rough ride with 20 inch rims. I think 18 inch rims usually are the best, um, especially when it comes to because you're adding more weight to the car. So, Speaking of in interior, it's more luxurious as well as the BZ4X limited features, a heated leather wrapped steering wheel, soft tech seats with heating and ventilation front, as well as eight way power adjustment on the driver's side. It also has Boast's digital key technology, surround view camera system and a backup camera with dynamic guard lines. A handful of options will be available, including a nine speaker JBL premium audio system with a subwoofer and amplifier so you can play the music as loud as you want <laughs> i don't know why i said it that way that includes a heated rear seats oh you get it customers can also opt for a cold weather package that includes heated rear seats Ooh. That's why I went ooh for it. As well as front radiant heater for warming your legs and feet. Limited customers can also order a contrasting black roof. So here's the uh, pricing. So this is where you want to be. I think you're still getting a lot of value there um, when you're comparing it to the Model Y. Even though the Model Y you know, blows this out of the water with the range. So... But I think the pricing is pretty fair. Now, whether you're going to get a fair deal at the dealership, that's a whole nother story. Just like I talked about the um, Toyota GR, um, I'm sure the dealerships, some dealerships, should I say, are going to go to town with this as well. Um, you just got to find, you just got to keep looking, keep hustling if you want one of these, okay? Do not give up. Alrighty, so we talked about the different models and different options that you can get for the price points and etc. Now let's talk about range. When it comes to range, like I said, it's a little bit meager. So if you have the uh, front wheel drive, it's a 71.4 kilowatt ion battery pack, an electric motor that develops 201 horsepower, which is not very much, but you know, that's what I have my other car for. So it is what it is. 196 feet pound of torque. The setup enables the front wheel drive. XLE, an estimated 252 miles, which is a little meager. And then if you want the front wheel drive limited, um, I think, yeah, 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 that's the limited, has a slightly lower range of about, so you lose about 10 miles if you want that limited trim because it's got bigger wheels and more technology in it, so it's a little bit heavier, so you lose about 10 more. Um, customers looking for improved performance on all weather traction can upgrade to an all wheel drive variant, which costs an additional $2,080, which is not bad. It features two wheel or oh, two electric motors, which each produce 107 and 124 foot pound of torque. Doing the math, the model has a combined maximum output of 214 to 228, which I say no, don't do it because you're going to be sacrificing a lot of range for that performance. So don't even bother um, doing that. I would avoid that if I were you, unless you really want like barely any performance from this vehicle. It's not designed for the performance. Um, later on down the road, um, Toyota will be introducing more vehicles for performance, and it's going to cost a little bit more, obviously, but you're going to get your 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 performance tickle if you if you want that so don't bother buying the performance version of the bz4x because there's just not enough uh performance 
there at all. 214 to 228 for nearly for an additional 2,000, and you lose a shit ton of range. Um, so, yeah, don't don't do it. Do not do it. Um, those aren't the only changes, as well as the all-wheel drive variants have a slightly larger 72.8 kilowatt battery pack. However, this only does so much to offset the reduced range as XLE models have an EPA estimated 228, while limited variants come in at 222. So just get yourself um, single motor, front wheel drive, you know, XLE, basic, 42 grand, or should I say 43,000. And fifteen dollars minus the dealer mark of, of about five thousand dollars. That's being generous. So you're looking at forty eight thousand, and you still qualify for all those incentives. That is, if Toyota hasn't met their um, their their initial, you know, like they're if they haven't made two hundred thousand plug-in cars, I think you should still you should be good. So these are just the colors here. Most people don't like the black. I, I dig it. It's okay. But the one, the red one, really pops, man. That thing pops. I, I like it. <clears throat> so here you go. If you go to the limited, you get all these niceties, man. Essentially, you're just buying. But <laughs> the only thing that sucks is, um, since they're co-developing with Subaru, uh, there's nothing really special about this one. <clears throat> Except the Subaru one comes in... Um, all-wheel drive standard comparing to this one but anyway closing thoughts um it's nice to finally see where the pricing are and where you know you would stand if you're in the market of buying yourself an electric vehicle um so this is just an addition and um later down the road we'll see more um i know honda is investing deeply even though their partnership is less to be desired um, I know Toyota has shown us a slew of different EVs. We've even, we have even seen the Toyota Tacoma EV, as well as the um, just bunch of different performance cars. They just open the books, or they just should I say, open the book, and then we got to see a slew of different EVs that they're going to be making for the future. So just stay tuned. This is just the beginning for Toyota, and I have very high hopes that they will deliver um, more range on their next iterations of whatever electric vehicle that they put out. So stay tuned. Anyway, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I don't know what you're waiting for. All right, I'm out.